Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another lecture on matrices. So in our previous lecture, we learned what is characteristics matrix, characteristics polynomial, characteristics roots and characteristics what vector. So in this particular lecture, we are going to find the characteristic root or eigen, eigen value uh, together with characteristics vector or eigen vector of a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay? So here we have 2 by 2 matrix. Lenge. Or pehle usko characteristics root root and then after that we are going to find the characteristics vector also. Okay, so watch it very carefully. It's very simple and as well as very important also. Okay, so here we have taken a matrix, two by two matrix. First row is five four and second row is what one and two. So let us first find the characteristics root. Pehle hamlo kya karenge characteristics root nikalenge ya to eigen values nikalenge. To uske liye hamen kya karna hoga characteristics equation ko kya karna solve karna hai. Okay, so the characteristics the characteristic equation of the given matrix given matrix is what determinant a minus lambda equals to zero. So determinant a minus lambda. Is a, a ka value kitna hai yaha pe? 5, 4, then 1 and 2, minus lambda into, then identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay? Is equals to how much? 0. So, this implies, now it will be 5 minus lambda, then 4 minus 0 is 4, 1 minus 0 is 1, and then 2 minus lambda. Is equals to how much? 0. This is we break karenge, determine to expand karenge, 5 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda, and then 4 equals to how much? 0. Okay. So let us break this. After multiplying, we will get lambda square. Then it is minus 5 lambda minus 2 lambda. So it is minus 7 lambda. And then 10 minus 4, how much it is? 6 equals to 0. So if you factorize it, then you'll get 6 lambda minus 1 and then lambda minus 6 equal to 0. That means we have two values of lambda. Lambda kitna aega yaha pe? 1 and 6. So these are the, what, characteristics roots are the characteristic roots. Okay? Characteristic root. Now the next part is very, very important where we have to find what characteristic vector since we have two values of lambda that means we will get two vectors two vector here we will get okay so let us find one by one for lambda equals to one so the first characteristic root was one for lambda equals to one let capital X equal to so I have last video if we get two values of lambda then the characteristic vector will be a column matrix of two elements. So x1 and x2. I got two by two matrix, hai, so two elements. Okay? For, for lambda equals to 1, let capital X be the characteristic characteristic vector. Now, what is the definition of characteristic vector? Okay, you know that in starting characteristic matrix ka jo lecture, I told you if capital X is the characteristic vector, then it will satisfy one equation. Kaun sa equation tha? AX equals to lambda X. Okay. So, if you didn't watch that particular lecture, so kindly go and watch that particular lecture first. What is characteristic matrix? What is characteristic vector? Okay. Then this will be very much easy for all of you. So, hum log pehle kya liya hai pe? for lambda equals to 1, let capital X, which is X1 and X2, be the characteristic vector. So, then automatically a value equation satisfy hoga ax equals to how much lambda x okay ax equals to lambda x now in this particular problem what is lambda lambda ka value kitna hai 1 so if we put lambda equals to 1 then we get ax equals to how much x okay this implies ax minus x equals to null matrix the right side is not zero there is null matrix now from this what we can take common we can take capital x common so if we take x common now what we'll get after taking x common it is a minus it is not 1 
we have to write identity matrix because in matrix you cannot write one a minus i okay equals to how much zero this implies now we'll put the values of the matrix so a is how much a matrix is given here it is uh, a matrix is how much let us see okay five four one two okay five four one and then two minus i i is one zero zero one okay and then with this we have x equals to null matrix now if you calculate it what you will get four four one one okay four four one one equals to how much okay with this we have capital x also equals to null matrix now is your matrix and i score me एकलन फॉर्म में लेके जाना है ठीक है सो आई होप आप लोग एकलन फॉर्म को मतलब तो उसको प्रैक्टिस किए हैं अच्छे से सो इन एकलन फॉर्म व्हाट टू डू बिफोर द फर्स्ट नॉन जीरो एलिमेंट वी हैव व्हाट वन सो दैट वन यू हैव टू मेक जीरो सो सो कैसे जीरो बनाना है सो आर टू गोस टू फोर इंटू आर टू माइनस आर वन सो पहला जो रो है वो एज इट इज रहेगा सो फोर वन इंटू फोर माइनस वन जीरो ये ये भी कितना हो गया जीरो ठीक है और उसके साथ क्या है यहाँ पे कैपिटल एक्स ना इन प्लेस ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स व्हाट वी कैन राइट इन प्लेस ऑफ कैपिटल एक्स ना एक्स को हम लोग क्या लिए थे इज द कोलम मैट्रिक्स एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू ओके ना लेट अस मल्टीप्लाई दिस सो रो एंड कोलम को मल्टीप्लाई करना है फोर एक्स वन प्लस फोर एक्स टू एंड द सेकेंड जो रो है वो मल्टीप्लाई करने के बाद क्या आ जाएगा जीरो आ जाएगा Now, right hand side is a null matrix okay null matrix of any order that we can write zero zero so come along zero zero like that because the order of left side is what is one by two so right side ka jo null matrix hai uska bhi order kya hoga one by two hi hoga so now if we compare then we get two equation four x one plus four x two equals to zero ye ho gaya pehla equation aur jo second equation hai wo to kya hai zero equals to zero okay so that is not uh, wo matlab hum log ka kaam karna hi hai Now see there are two variables x1 and x2. So what we know, if there are two variables, then we need at least two equation to solve. Two equation to solve करने के लिए क्योंकि दो variable है ना. तो यहाँ पे एक ही equation आया लेकिन दो variable है तो इसको तो हम लोग solve नहीं कर सकते. तो हम लोग क्या करेंगे? इसमें कोई भी एक जो variable है उसको हम लोग को substitute करना है. Suppose let x2 equals to suppose k belongs to R, any real number. तो उसको हमें substitute करना है नहीं तो हम लोग इसको solve नहीं कर पाएंगे. So this implies after cancelling four, it is x one plus x two equals to zero. X two, we have to carry here. Here, here. So suppose it is k one. Okay. So x two is how much? K one. So if x two is k one, then x one equals to how much? It is minus k one. So originally, the matrix was capital X. The matrix was this. Okay. So here, we have to do what? We have to sit down. So therefore, capital X equals to the column matrix. It is minus k one. And K one is the characteristics characteristic vector for what lambda equals to one. So, this lambda equals to one. For the characteristics vector, now we have another value. Tha. Lambda has two values. Okay. Again, lambda equals to how much? Six. So, in the same way, now we will find characteristics vector for lambda equal to how much? Six. Okay. For for lambda equal to six, let capital Y equals to y one and y two be the characteristics characteristic vector. Okay. So if capital Y is characteristic vector, then which side equation series will be? Then a y Equals to lambda y, so this implies a y. यहाँ पे lambda कितना है? Lambda is how much? Six. Okay. तो इसको एक ही side में लेके आने से हम लोग common लेंगे. So it will be how much? A minus now it is six i. ठीक है? मैंने पहले ही बोला है constant को मतलब single ले नहीं लाया क्योंकि ये वाला matrix है ना capital A is a matrix and six is a number. We cannot subtract a matrix uh, from a what number. So इसलिए उसके साथ एक तो identity matrix जो है वो देना होता है. 
y equals to how much? 0. Okay, a minus 6i. So, this implies what is a? A matrix kya tha? Which is our 5, 4, 1 and then 2. 6 into kya hoga? 1, 0, 0 and 1. Then y equals to how much? 0. Okay, y equals to 0. So, this is how we calculate karenge. 6. So, 5 minus 6 is how much? It is minus 1. 4 minus 0 is 4. 1. And then 2 minus 6 is how much? Minus 4. Okay. Y equals to how much? 0. So, what do we have to do? We have to do So, first will be fixed. Okay. First will be fixed. And second row. Second row is 1. So, it is simple. R2 goes to what? R2 plus R1. So, it is how much? 0. This is also 0. And what is it with capital Y? Capital Y means how much? Y1 and then what? Y2. Now, when you multiply this, minus Y1 plus 4Y2, second row will be 0. And right side, we have null matrix. Again, that we can write 0, 0. Now, if we compare, compare what will happen after comparing? First equation is minus y1 plus 4y2 equals to 0. And the other equation is not. So, here we will do what we will variable You can substitute either y1 or y2. So, this will be called k2. Belongs to real number. So, this implies what is y1 then? y1 equals to 4 k2. Okay? So, therefore, the capital Y was starting with the capital Y. Is the characteristic vector. So, this will be called k2 y1 and y2. So, y1 ka bhilu a gaya hai 4k2 and this is how much k2. So, this is the characteristic vector for what? Characteristic vector for lambda equals to what? 6. Okay. So, it's very simple. First, we have to find what? Characteristics roots. If they are, suppose this is a 2 by 2 matrix. So, 2 by 2 ke liye hume do characteristics root mila. Kabhi kabhi ek bhi aata hai. Repeated hota hai. Suppose, maan li 1 comma 1 a gaya. To do nahi nikalna hai. Sep 1 ke liye hume nikalna hoga. So then after that, we will find what characteristics vector. So it's very simple. And in characteristics vector, we have to use what echelon form. So for, for, for that particular thing, so I'll suggest you, if you don't know echelon form, so it is already there, you can go and watch the watch the video for echelon form. Then if you come, if you come and do this particular problem, then it will be very much easy for all of you. Okay. So I hope you like my video. And if you understand, my lectures so kindly share with your friends also so that they can also learn and uh, thank you very much for watching